Um, I've been positive since 1996. Precisely August 13th, 1996, I was diagnosed. And in the beginning, it was very hard because I didn't know. I took medications not for the right reasons. I took them not for wrong reasons either. I felt that I needed to start taking the meds because I had five children and I didn't want them to think I was going to die on them. They had lost their father already. My children are the best thing I have in my life. That's all I've had is them. You know, I raised them by myself. Um, from my oldest, who'll be 39 next month, and my baby's 24 years old. Like I said, anyone that is newly diagnosed that I hear, and they tell me, and they're going through the, all the motions that I went through, the isolation, and oh, I have to take these pills. I don't, you know, I shovel them like this. I just grab them, throw them in my mouth. You know, my grandchildren tell me, how do you do that? You take them all at once. I said, I don't know, it just goes down. So <laughs> I just throw water in there. But it's very important to educate yourself. There's other illnesses that I have, and I think the more important, I'm a diabetic, so I know that's more important to me than HIV at this point. I know HIV is undetectable. Um, I'm living well. I'm taking care of myself. Um, today I could say I'm taking care of myself for me and not for my, just my kids. How did I get to where I am today? A lot of counseling, a lot of support groups. Just the only thing I can tell you is, like I said, learn. Learn about the virus. You don't have to have it to go learn about it.